looking for something. It's like uh, when I was using M2, the short gear, the M2B4, I was running out of gears. You know, it's already screaming when I downshift from fifth to third gear and that motor is already screaming, especially if you're turbo. It's not good. <laughs> it's like, I, you know, it's like finding an edge, but I want something different. You know, I, I want something that's suitable for me. I, I want the the low RPM, and at the same time, I, I can have the acceleration. And that's how, how I found this one. And the fifth gear, it's also, it's been a problem because I was using, you know, I constantly used the freeway, and I needed a, uh, a low RPM, just like the Honda Accord. I want that comfort. So, uh, I searched on the internet and I, I, someone came up with an idea of using a 1993 Honda Accord 5th uh, uh, gear. I believe it was a uh, H2U5 or something. Uh, it's out there, it's on the internet. So uh, I searched and searched, cross-reference and everything, I found out that the, uh, the gears is the same as for a 1995 which has a gear ratio of uh, 0.685. So I went and grabbed one, measured it. That's why I showed it to you guys. I was at work when I uh, measured it because I needed a, uh, a much precise tooling. And well, it came out, lucky for me, it came out just like, it's almost perfect. Uh, except for one gear that has a 3,000 of an inch difference, which is no big deal. And so I gave it a try and there it is. So long story short, and this is what I've been using ever since. Before I put this on, remember that lug? This one. Let me, this one. Right there, that waste material. That has to line up with this ring stopper, with this one, okay, otherwise, well you could force it in there, but uh, it's better to line it up in the beginning. The point of no return, and also the lock ring, don't forget that, I'm going to spread that later on. Okay, let me spread the the ring. Sometimes the uh, the forks you just need to uh, to be realigned. So now I need to spread that ring. I don't know if you guys could see it. See, it's already spread apart. So now I could safely. Give it a tap. Okay, make sure you don't, uh, you know, hit it with the hammer. Not unless you are sure off that everything is all seated. So now the bracket, let me see if I can remember. Okay. Do a crisscross pattern here. Okay, 
and then the last one on this one that uh, something I learned is you gotta give it a smack it's to verify that this lock will be seated correctly okay right now it's uh it's still spread so before I do anything anything more I'll just give it a a smack Let's see if this thing, there you go. Right there, so it's all seated. Okay, so now I'm home free. I can just go ahead and uh, put the lid on this one. It's up to you if you want to put a, a silicon or a silicone. Silicon. <laughs> a little bit of a silicone on there. If you don't have a silicone, that's okay. This thing barely leaks. spring there don't forget the the washer and the other one oh man I lost the spring again oh there it is the seal the gasket seal Give that torque. Yeah, goes like that. Secure this out. Bring this up. Then this bad boy. I'm pretty much reusing some of those uh, tabs. If you don't, uh, usually uh, I don't recommend it, but but I have been reusing some of this tab of any uh, transmission that I that I open. I have no problem with it. Check how much is the fork. Ah. It's twenty one pounds a foot. Let me 
let's set the torque. Grant is 20. Okay. So then bend it. Okay. That should do it. Hopefully, it won't fall off on me. Here, it shifts right. And this one here, I need to torque it to 16 foot pounds. So that's 20. And then the reverse, the bolt for the rever reverse is 40 uh, pounds of foot. Then I need to tighten this. Tighten this. Four bolts. And tight. 108 inch pounds. Make sure. Check again. Huh. I lost my gasket for the, my reverse switch. I don't know what I did to it. Oh well. Oh, hi Joel. My uh, nephew showed up. Well, anyway, so hopefully uh, you guys uh, like this one and uh, I will be putting it on to Miley soon. Okay? And have a good one everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Go to the library. And the torque is 78. Ready to uh, make this too. And uh, I needed a, uh, a fork. So I ended up, uh, I thought I, I have one spare.